Just five weeks after he was hired, the Mets dismissed their general manager, Jared Porter. He was quickly fired today when news of a sexting scandal went public. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez live tonight at City Field with the details. Hazel. Yeah, Maurice and Christine, the Mets organization says it knew nothing about the allegations until Jared Porter called them last night. They say he told them about the disturbing claims being made against him by a female reporter from Korea. The Mets say he took full responsibility for his actions and expressed remorse. The New York Mets wasted no time firing general manager Jared Porter less than a day after details of a sexting scandal went public. This afternoon, team president Sandy Alderson addressed the media. From my standpoint, I was, I was shocked. And, um, you know, eventually that gives way to disappointment and a little bit of anger. But um, this, was, this was a total surprise to us. I couldn't be any more excited to be here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. That was 41 year old Porter accepting the GM job just five weeks ago. Owner Steve Cohen, who bought the team one month before hiring Porter in December, announced his firing this morning via Twitter, saying, In my initial press conference, I spoke about the importance of integrity, and I meant it. There should be zero tolerance for this type of behavior. Porter had been part of the front office for four World Series championship teams, but his rising star was quickly shot down Monday night in a blistering report on ESPN. An unidentified female foreign correspondent who moved to the United States to cover Major League Baseball told ESPN, while Porter was director of professional scouting for the Chicago Cubs in 2016, he sent her dozens of explicit, unsolicited texts and images, including nude photos. In one word, I was repulsed. New York Daily News sports reporter Disha Thosar has been covering the Mets for three years, one of the female minority covering baseball. I've had my own experiences, one in particular that really relates to almost exactly what she went through. Um, so it's unfortunate that it's 2021 and, and women in this industry and in sports media in general have to continue dealing um, with the same sort of pattern. The Mets organization says it only became aware of the allegations last night. Sports psychologist Dr. Leah Lagos praised the Mets for quickly and firing Porter, but says teams must have discussions have internally, internally. Um, to be accountable, to make sure that this doesn't happen again and that it's a team decision. It's a team behavior, not just one person, um, that everyone's responsible. So it looks like it's going to be another rough start to the season for the Mets. A year ago, the team hired Carlos Beltran to be its GM, but they had to let him go too after his involvement in the Astros sign stealing, sign -stealing scandal emerged. The Mets have yet to announce an interim GM. We're live at City Field. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you.